Business item, purchase of portable handheld radios and required accessories. This will be presented by our Fire Chief, Jesse Alexander. Sorry. Good evening. Mayor, council members, I'm here before you this evening to request authorization to purchase 36 portable handheld radios and accessories at a cost of just under $214,000. Yuba City Fire Department has attempted to twice to secure these portable radios in 2018 and 2020 through the assistance to firefighters grant. However, we were unsuccessful. Our current portable radios are at the end of their current life, useful life expectancy, and it's become increasingly challenging to repair our current radios due to their age, lack of supply parts, and radio manufacturers no longer supporting the product. No repairs can occur beyond cosmetics fixes. If the functionality of the radio is compromised in any manner, the radio must be removed from service and discarded. Handheld portable radios are an essential piece of equipment that all firefighters carry as soon as they exit their apparatus. These radios allow for communication between the incident commander, the dispatch center, and their fellow firefighters on all calls for service, including but not limited to structure fires, vegetation fires, vehicle accidents, EMS, and rescue calls. As a result, these radios are subject to extreme conditions such as high heat and cold and water. We are requesting a purchase of a total of 36 radios and accessories, which would include 32 APX 6000 radios and four APX 8000 radios. And I'll get into the difference of what those mean in just a second. In addition, we'll do looking at spare batteries for each radio, remote mics, programming services, and various charging stations. These would allow for three radios on every single primary piece of apparatus at our stations three radios for a reserve apparatus at each station, a radio for all the command staff, and a radio for all the prevention staff. So getting back to the difference between those APX radios, the APX 6000 radios are a single band radio that supports VHF functions, and the VHF frequency is what fire uses. So this would allow us to communicate with all of our fellow fire agencies in the area. The APX 8000 are a dual band radio that operate on both VHF frequency, that fire, but also the UHF frequency, which was primarily law. Those four radios would be for command staff and would allow our chief officers to better coordinate unified command with law enforcement on such things as active shooter situations, water rescue, apartment complex fires, and event planning. All of these radios that I've mentioned are P25 compliant and meet or exceed P68 uh, radians, which define water and dust resistance. Some of the features on these radios are a firefighter down activation capabilities. The newer radios will have mission critical capabilities and will include rugged construction to operate in hotter environments, better water resistant features, and operability channels for multiple frequencies, bands within one radio, and clearer transmission with improved clarity due to the fact, which I'm really excited about, uh, that these radios will pair via Bluetooth with our SCBA voice amplifier. So as incident commanders, you're hearing those radio traffic on those incidents a lot clearer. Uh, these Rotom Motorola radios are industry standard, and Motorola is a radio and a brand that we've consistently used at Yuba City Fire. Are there any questions? Any questions? I do have one. I know that there was a, a big effort on this interoperability between all the all the agencies, and there's this, um, I guess, a site that's set up still up in the Buttes. Is that still, or are these going to work with that? And is that still something that's that's staffed when needed, and et cetera? So we're using that for the seat parade incident as for coming up, and so it's. I would have to defer to our radio expert on this because there's a lot of nuances with radios, but I've, I've been told that these will play into that, especially the 8,000 in regards to interoperability between the law and fire aspect. So will, will that system be uh, quote unquote exercised during this upcoming SEEK parade then? So That is affirmative. It is on our, our comms plan uh, to, with radio frequencies for interoperability, correct? Okay. 
Any other questions? Okay. Public? Anybody from the public? Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak before you. I've been following this radio controversy thing quite a few years. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lawrence, Lawrence Mertz. I'm speaking for the Taxpayers Association. We have been following this radio situation since the time of the, since the Oroville Dam, when we had a, such a serious problem with the interoperability between the police radios and the fire station, the fire people. I really do think that we should spend the money and get more of the 8,000 radios to allow more communication between the various services. Four radios is not enough. They absolutely need good radios. Communications is critical when you have bona fide emergencies taking place. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mertz. Okay. Sounds like we are gonna get a chance to test out the system come Sunday, so we'll, if we find that we have a need, I'm sure you'll bring it to us. I have full confidence. Okay. On, hold on. From uh, the online folks? No public comment. Okay. Back to the council for action. Through the chair, I move that um, we adopt the resolution authorizing the sole source purchase of 36 portable handheld radios requiring radio accessories from Motorola Solutions in the amount of $213,747.67 and authorize the finance director to use funds from ARPA um, account 2560-69201 in the amount of $213,747.67. All right, I have a motion by Councilperson Espindola, second by Councilperson Harris. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, item seven passes unanimously. 